All right, guys, went well, back today with another high value and budget night vision review. And this one is a helmet mounted version from a company I've never tried night vision from before, but that is Vector Optics. I've reviewed a ton of their red dots for handguns, red dots for AR 15s, long range optics, and LPVOs, and have always been very pleasantly surprised each and every time I try one of their optics at the price point and the value and the feature set. And this is a very interesting design because it does include the helmet mount in the box and it works out so incredibly well. Right off the bat, the code 704 Tactical is still valid for 10% off anything on their website, including this night vision device. And the price comes in at right at $500 and that includes the mount you see here. So it mounts to any of the standard traditional fast mounting systems on the front of a lot of the more modern ballistic helmets. This one is from Guard Dog Armor. I also have the code 704 for tactical for 10% off guard dog armor if you were looking for a ballistically rated helmet that could stop a ton and was ready to go with the arc system on the side to mount your ear pro night vision battery packs as well as the mounting system up front so the mounting system is just a series of lever arms that clips in and then it mounts to the unit itself which houses the monocular and an ir emitter located on the side this matches up perfectly with your eye and you can adjust it however you want with a few different levers and tensioning knobs to get everything to fit perfectly. And that's why this one comes in at a very reasonable price considering everything else you get. A lot of the digital night vision I've reviewed in the past was more of a two-piece design or a two-eye design looking at a larger screen. This is a monocular design. And it's a little bit different than some of those ones I've reviewed earlier. That allows you to keep one eye open to see your surroundings. So if you had to switch to white light or something like that, you wouldn't even have to flip up the monocular. You could simply close one eye or just shine the light itself. It also gives you a little bit more situational awareness, peripheral vision, and then ways to just see if the uh, maybe you're looking through cloud cover on a moonlit night, the clouds cover the moon up, it starts to get real dark. You're better seeing with your night vision monocular, but maybe the clouds pass by and now you can catch a glimpse of something your eyes are going to adjust accordingly without flipping up that night vision device every single time and flipping it back down so something to consider when you're looking at digital night vision the price of this guy comes in right at about five hundred dollars so not cheap but nowhere near as expensive as traditional night vision but right off the bat one of the first things i want to say is it doesn't have a record feature or an, a card built into it it is a wi-fi camera I couldn't find a Wi-Fi app that worked well with it. They suggest one um, for Android. I have an iPhone. I couldn't find that particular one. I tried three different or four different versions, and that's why you're not seeing any images of this night vision because I just couldn't find the Wi-Fi app that worked well, and I didn't want to fool with that. For me and for the guys who are buying this, I feel like it's much simpler to include an SD card and have it record, even if it's a little bit larger, a little bit heavier uh, for people who are doing airsoft or hunting applications or even reconnaissance or surveillance, it's nice to just grab it without taking out your phone, turning on your app, recording from your phone, keeping your phone on in your pocket while it's recording. It's much simpler to record to an SD card. So that's a big negative right off the bat. A lot of the digital night vision, in fact, every single one of the digital night visions that I highly recommend for kind of CQB 1X night vision, like the Psyonix or some of the Night Fox night visions, all record to an SD card. Um, or if they didn't, the latest version now does. This is the only version available and it doesn't record to an SD card. Um, maybe they'll be doing that in the future, but I couldn't figure out a way to do that with this one right here. So something to consider. This though really blows the Psyonix night vision devices out of the water when it comes to uh, just image quality. This is very good image quality. It's also very good at um, relaying the light and the sensor inside it's really good at transmitting light so you don't have to use the ir light as much which gives you less of an ir signature which is a positive over some others those other devices it's also very simple to use you flip it on right here with the push of a button you can control the ir adjustments as well as the image color right here on the side and then it also gives you navigation that little line up top kind of gives you what orientation you're walking in so that's actually really cool you'll long press this button to go to the menu but the problem and what that menu is, is most of it is in Chinese or Mandarin characters, so you're not going to be able to read a lot of it. That's rather frustrating, but you can kind of figure out what most of it is. And honestly, this is more of a just throw it on your helmet 
and use it as is. I wouldn't worry about recording with it, uh, potentially for airsoft or something like that. You could kind of use it or to survey something or to kind of look around, but there are definitely better options when it comes to digital night vision, like the Psyonix, for only about $100 more. And sometimes the Psyonix meets the same price. Now, the Psyonix is a little bit bigger. It doesn't include the mount in the box, so you're going to have to add that to it. But it does record. It does give you a lot of those features, and you can do different IR emitters on your rifles and things like that. Um, and the Psyonix is comparable with this when it comes to image quality. I think the Psyonix is definitely a little bit better, uh, even their base models. Their new models that they come out with are definitely better than this. But again, they are more money, so it's kind of a give and take. One thing, that, though, that really disqualifies this for any serious use is the refresh rate is horrible. So when you're transitioning from target to target, it's very jumpy. It doesn't transition well. It's very blurry. So you're not going to be able to use this for quick movements. It's going to be good for slowly scanning a field and seeing what's out there. And then taking your shots with like an IR laser or something like that. Good for a hunting application. But for airsoft, you're going to be moving and looking and targets are going to be popping in and around corners. It's going to be too quick. The refresh rate is not good enough especially in a life or death situation for like real life scenarios the refresh rate will get you killed it's just too confusing it's too complicated to use for actual cqb applications inside a home and you're not getting enough vision peripherally to make this um an acceptable CQB digital night vision solution. Now, Psyonix is offering, I think, their latest version, which is $2,500, which is a digital night vision solution that should address a lot of those concerns. But again, it's literally five times as much as this. So you have to keep everything in perspective. Do I recommend this? Yeah, for a lot of applications, the battery life has been great. The image quality is great. It's got a really low IR signature, and a lot of times you don't even need to turn the IR on at all to use this. So blows a lot of those cheaper $100 and $200 ones out of the water when it comes to that. Where it lacks, though, is the ability to record right out of the gate. Um, but it kind of makes up for that with the helmet mount included in the box and the fact that you could find that right Wi-Fi app if you wanted to record that way. So there's a ton of gives and takes with this night vision device. So I wanted to give an overview of it. Um, it's pretty darn cool. It folds up nicely on the top of your helmet. It flips down and adjusts perfectly to your eye. It's built really good. I mean, it's got a good quality, so you can kind of beat it around, bump it around, and you're not going to mess it up. So overall, um, I'm going to be continuing to use this. It's got interesting applications. It's just going to be is it right for you? So I hope this gives you a good overview of this and you'll be able to find more information about this night vision device on their website. So you're going to be able to get the refresh rate. You're going to be able to get the pixel size, um, the sensor that they use, the hours that it's going to last, and all of the information is available on their website. Um, so that's going to be um, the perfect place to go compare and contrast with some of those other ones. Like I can't remember all of the... Um, exact specs and features of everything I've ever reviewed, but I wanted to do an overview of this one and feature it on the channel. So a uh, huge shout out to Vector Optics. They sent this one out to the channel for us to try out. I'm glad they did, and they've also included that code. That code is an affiliate code, so if you decide to use this code when you purchase it, a small percentage of that goes back to help out the channel to make more reviews like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.